Hey, I'm Mark Clem, your host for Meet the Members of the National Ski Patrol all season long. Hey, like I always say, hey, we're traveling, folks. We're coming to your backyard. Hey, why don't you catch us on YouTube and Facebook and social media everywhere every Tuesday and Thursdays. But we'd really like to come out because we want to ski. We want to find the ski area in your backyard so we can have a bunch of fun wherever you are. If it's up north, if it's down south, if it's out west, if it's in mid-Atlantic, hey, we're coming, we're ready, and we're having fun. Hey, the gist of the show, folks, is to get to know the members of the National Ski Patrol. And we've got another good buddy here in Bill McComb, who's, uh, who's been wearing the red jacket for quite a long time, since 1964. He's been, and You weren't wearing red back then, were you, Bill? You were probably wearing rust, rust, rust. and blue, right? We are wearing rust and blue, yes. Yep. Yeah. So, Bill is another one of the long-standing legends here at Butternut Ski Area here in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. And Bill um, never gets old, does it? it never, you, it's always fun to put the boots on in the morning. It is. Every day is a new day. And when days like this, when the sun's out, you can't beat it. I tell you what, a bluebird sky day here that we're having with great snow on the mountain. You know, why does anybody do anything else? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I've been doing this uh, year in, year out for 54 years, and uh, we enjoy it. We enjoy the camaraderie. Um, we're working with volunteers that all have a common interest. They love to ski. They love to be together, and it's just a, a great way to spend your winter. Now, in 1964, now we're, we're staying with the Olympic theme here. In 1964, Billy Kidd and Jimmy Hugo won the first Alpine medals for Americans ever in the Olympics. You remember that? I do. And um, I've skied with Billy Kidd out at Steamboat a couple of times, and, and I've seen him out in, in uh, Utah. But um, you know what? He's, he's a great ambassador of the game, a great ambassador of the sport. But you won't find any better ambassadors to, to the skiing industry as the folks who wear the red jacket. Right. Uh, yes, I've also, back in 1976, uh, patrolled for the World Cup at Stratton and was on course with the racers. So it was uh, very exciting to be a part of that. Um, met Billy Kidd, the Maha brothers. So, yep. Bill and Steve Mayer. Yep. So you've had you've had a quite a quite of a journey through through being working with the being a member of the NASA Ski Patrol, and um, you're not stopping anytime soon, are you? No, I, I don't plan to. Uh, I believe in giving back. Um, when when I was a back in the day in the '60s, I started as a junior patroller, what they called a junior patrol at 15 years of age. A lot of people mentored us. Uh, and got us to where we are today. And at this stage of my, my existence here on the patrol, I'm returning that by working as a o OET, Outdoor Emergency Transportation Instructor. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I enjoy it. People are learning a lot. We have a great time. It's a fun place to be. Now, Bill, tell me back, what was going on back in 1964 when you decided to put on skis? You might have had lace-up leather boots and bear trap bindings back then. You know, what are you thinking? Why do you want to become a patroller? Well, it's, it's quite an interesting story. Um, I grew up in West Springfield, and adjacent to where I lived, there were some hills, and we were looking to start a ski area. And talked to the West Springfield YMCA and got their management involved and they opened a ski area called Pawkatuck Ski Area, West Springfield, Mass. Uh, it was literally 200 feet from my house. So that's how I got started um, and been in it ever since. Now folks, if I'm not saying you had to have been born um, back in the 40s to become a patroller or the 50s or whatever, hey, come on out. If you have that passion, if you love to ski, but you want to jump that up to another level, hey, why don't you check us out? Hey, if you don't know, if you want to be a patroller, but you're thinking, well, that'd be kind of fun, hey, why don't you come on up to Ski Butternut, look up Bill here. I'm sure he'd ski around with you for the day. You could, what we call, shadow a patroller and find out what they do. And I'm sure at the end of the day, you're probably like, where's my coat and where do I get started? Right. It, it's, a, it's an addiction. Uh, once you get into the skiing, uh, you just can't seem to get enough. And every day is a new day, and the conditions are different every day. So uh, that makes it interesting also. So it's a great place to be. It's a great bunch of people. We all have a common interest. Um, as Jeff had said, there's really no money in it. We're not here for the money. 
we're, we're here for the camaraderie and the skiing, and it, it's just a great organization. Now, we always talk about, um, you know, giving back to the industry, and you're out here to help the folks, and if there's somebody in need of emergency medical care, we give that, or you're helping them down the mountain, or, hey, I can't even get my ski on, and you help them do that, but the patrol here at Ski Butternut goes to the next level. You have a pretty interesting fundraiser here that I'm I'm hearing about, and um, why don't you tell me about that, Bill? Are you familiar with the fundraiser, and tell me how that works. Well, I'm not the guy that's really involved with it that much, but <clears throat> like like all volunteer organizations, uh, there, there's always a need for additional equipment, uh, training, and it takes money to fund that. So we run a fundraiser. Uh, we have a bake sale. Uh, proceeds all go to the patrol. It's just a great way to augment our needs. But you have another fundraiser that you, you raise money for multiple sclerosis? Jeff should speak to that. Uh, why, why don't you talk about that, Bill? <clears throat> Just give me the nuts and bolts. Well, they have a fundraiser for multiple sclerosis that is run every year. Uh, they have a, a race set up with prizes for the race. They have a dinner, and all the pro at the end of the day, all the proceeds from that event go for multiple sclerosis. And I heard it's just not any ski race. It's kind of like an obstacle course, so it's not the fastest to the bottom. Is that right? Uh, yeah, no, it, they, they've got some... It is not a typical ski race. Uh, they have to go and do different things. Um, the, the police, they have to handcuff someone. Um, I think the last the last of it is they actually get a donut and, and have to ski to the bottom of the donut. So there's a, a bunch of different obstacles that they must accomplish. Hey, you know what, folks, it's all fun. You know, when you come around and hang around ski patrollers, we don't always do things like the regular way. We find ways to have fun. And if you can have a ski, now, that may be something they may want to put in the X Games. I don't think the Olympics are waiting for the butternut obstacle course ski race. But you know what? Down the road, you never know. The X Games love that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, that's for sure. It, it's fun, and everybody gets involved in it. A lot of camaraderie. I don't think it's truly about winning. It's a, it's about it's about playing the game. Hey, we love to play the game here. We like to bend the rules a little bit and ski where you're not supposed to, or or have a little fun. But um, hey, Bill, 1964 to now, I don't know how much fun you've had, but I'm sure it is unbelievable blast. And um, are, is there 20 more years in you? That's pushing it. That's pushing the envelope. Uh, as, as long as I'm healthy and, and can contribute and be a positive force, I'm, I'm up for doing it. Well, put it this way. If you wake up one day and you feel like, man, you know, I really can't make it, give me a call. I'll pick you up. We'll take care. We'll, we can do whatever you want. We'll be wearing the red jacket. Hey, I'm Mark Clem, your host for Meet the Members of the NASCAR Ski Patrol. We're meeting a ton of great people out here as we travel all around the country coming to a mountain near you. Hey, folks, every Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube and Facebook and social media everywhere, jump on the bandwagon, folks. It's fired up in the parking lot. We're heading south from here to Connecticut. And we're going to have one unbelievable time meeting ski patrollers everywhere. Why don't you jump on board? All you got to do is give us a call, and we'll get you headed in the right direction. See you, folks, heading down the road.